Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to yet another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine and the final tip of the named view trilogy. Oh yeah, I decided it was a trilogy. <laughs> okay, so, so this tip has to do with those of you who are in AutoCAD 2019. If you're not in AutoCAD 2019, you're just gonna want, because it's pretty awesome what you can do with named views inside of AutoCAD 2019. How does it feel to want? All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, I showed you how to make named views. I showed you that you could save the layer settings with named views. So let me show you one more thing that you can do with named views inside of AutoCAD 2019. I'm in model space. I'm gonna go down to uh, paper space. I'm gonna go to this layout. And I'm going to go to the layout tab on the ribbon. And you will see that there is a very cool gallery that was added into AutoCAD 2019. These are all these views that I have been, these named views that I have been working with for the last couple of tips with you. We had the pad, we had the pool without the boulders. We had the, the, uh, the, the all without plants. I know these are very exciting views that I've made it. And if you missed it, please feel free to go back through the past tips because you don't want to miss how we made those. <laughs> but let me show you what else you can do with these named views because it's awesome. You can grab any one of these and you can drag and drop them right onto your paper space layouts. What? Are you kidding me? And then um, if I don't like the scale factor, I can click right on there and I can modify the scale factor accordingly. I can make it bigger, smaller, whatever. That's way too small. Let's put it back to the way it was. But you can modify the scale factor. How does it know what scale factor to bring it in at? Well, it's based on the scale factor that was used to create the view to begin with, the annotative scale factor that was originally there. All right, what? Do that again, Lynn. What just, what just happened? Let's do that again. I'm going to come back up here, go to my gallery view. And let's, let's grab one of the fun ones that we made, the pool without boulders. How exciting is that? Now, if I want to, I can change the scale factor ahead of time. It looks like maybe it's not quite right, although it looks pretty darn right to me. I can do a right click and I can change the scale factor ahead of time, make it bigger, smaller, Woo, way too big. Right click again, let's put it back the way it was. But you can make modifications to the scale factor before you even place it by doing a right click. In fact, if you look at the command line, you can see it says right click to change the scale. All right, so I can go ahead and drop that in there as well. All right, so it's really very, very simple, drag and drop. All right, in fact, there's even another option. If you didn't make a named view, it lets you make one on the fly. What? I can drop this down. And there's an option for new view. What? Let's try that. I'm gonna make a new view. I can zoom in and maybe I wanna make a viewport that has a plant in it or whatever. Let's go ahead and just make a, a little view. We're ad-libbing. That looks okay to me. Hit an enter to accept. It says that at the command line. And then you can drag and drop that in place. Or once again, you can do a right click and change the scale factor ahead of time. And but just like the other ones, you can come up here and you can modify the scale factor after the fact as well. Oh, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Now these are just viewports. These are just M views. They're nothing special. They're not these, you know, super special AutoCAD 2019 named view viewports. They act just like regular viewports. You can lock them. You can change the scale factor at any point in time. You can get inside of them. You can work inside of them just like any other viewport. These guys happen to be locked right now, but nevertheless, very, very powerful, super easy to work with. So if you go to all the trouble to create these named views, you should know that you can also drag and drop them into your paper space layout. And that is a key piece of information, almost as cool as being able to save the layer settings with the viewport. So think about that as you're dragging, excuse me, layer settings with the named views. I was getting ahead of myself, wasn't it? I, because now when you're making these viewports, just realize that you can have those layer settings play play in here. So think of the amazing possibilities because oftentimes you're changing those layer settings when you are creating these viewports, aren't you? These M views. All right, so, oh my gosh, is your head spinning right now? You're like, I, I think this is super powerful. I just need to figure out how to work that into my everyday drawing life. And I know you will. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh yeah because you are brilliant and you have all the power now. You know what AutoCAD gurus know. All right, that's the end of the amazing Named View trilogy that's gonna go down in history, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.